Hi, this is Tay with Black Round Doors, blackrounddoors.net. Here we're, today we're talking about our new uh, survival stoves. These are the soda can alcohol-based stoves. Now the stove itself is made out of one continuous can, so it's a great recycled product if you're going for that green or echo type deal. It is a um, completely, like I said, completely recycled, but out of one can, not two cans like some of the other stoves. It runs on denatured alcohol or any alcohol over 75%, so like Bacardi 151, it will work on just fine because it's 151 proof, which means 75% alcohol. Uh, any of those alcohols at that higher rate of, uh, you know, 150 or plus proof. And rubbing alcohol, 99% or above. It tends to be a little lower grade alcohol. But denatured alcohol works really, really well, so we're a big fan of this stuff. It's really cheap, and it takes very, very little. Now I've put about a quarter inch in there, and that should boil about two cups of water. Really, you don't want to ever fill it past the holes on the side, but right here in the middle is kind of where I usually put it, which will boil about 15 minutes. That's enough to do a liter of water. It will usually take about 10 to 12 minutes, a liter of water, and then I can actually snuff it out with my pot when I'm done. Now, the way we're going to light this is we're going to go ahead and light the center. Now, once it gets going, I'm going to go ahead, and you'll notice we're lighting the center instead of a lot of the other stoves where you have to light all the way around the outside. And I think it's a little dangerous if you're using it in any besides a controlled environment like this, especially if the wind's blowing or anything. So we light the center. We're going to give it just a second. I'm going to flip off the light so you can kind of see it kick on. It takes about 30 seconds for it to light the actual jets on the outside. And you'll start to see those kick on here in a second. You'll start to see the flame in the center go down. Because it's a double walled construction, it actually is going to start lighting the whole entire sides. You're going to see it start kicking up. And even if you just put your hand over top, I mean, there's a lot of heat coming off this stove. And you'll see the flame actually kick up quite a little bit. And it's just continuing to build, continue to build. And the hotter it gets, the better it pressurizes. Once you've got it up, and I've just got a little bit of water in here, about a cup of water, you're going to set it over the side, and the boots could kind of scoot in and kind of look down at the bottom here. You'll see that it's just coming out of the two jets. The stove itself becomes the stand. And because it becomes the stand, it allows it to run without having any other items but the can itself. So at a half an ounce, these stoves have no moving parts, no O-rings to go bad, and will just continue to burn. And they, like I said, we put in, I mean, just a minute amount. This is hundreds of boil times in one quart of alcohol. And there's lots of other alcohols you can use to use the same idea. And because we've set it on top, it makes them very efficient. You know, we don't recommend, you know, taking them off and running them without the, you know, the idea of just running like this because they're not very efficient at that point. But running the bottom, and you'll already hear that the stove itself is starting to make a little noise, you know, the water inside is starting to make a little noise because it's already starting to boil. Now this is something we do recommend, you don't do, you know, your, if your kid's doing this, making sure that you're being supervised and everything because it's not exactly the most stable thing in the world, but they do work really great. And you can hear we're already getting a boil just in that just a little bit of time. I'm going to pop on the lights here so you can kind of look inside. And we'll shine a flashlight in there so you can kind of see. Just in that little amount of time, we're already getting a, a pretty good little boil going. Like I said, there's only about a cup of water in here, so it's not a lot. But it will do a full four, uh, full four cups or a liter of water or two Mountain House freeze-dried foods in about 12 minutes. 10 to 12, mattering on what kind of elevation and everything you are. Now, just knowing where we're at, we're below the 7,000 foot mark. This is purifying, purifying this water here because we brought it to a boil. So, this is Tate with Black Rail Doors, blackraildoors.net. Feel free to call us at 916 652 
916-652-2327. Again, that's 916-652-2327. And as always, have a great day.